Hello everyone, my name is Greg Builds, and welcome to this Minecraft build tutorial. On this episode, we're going to build a modern cabin. This cabin is built mainly with easy to gather materials. However, there's a few elements that give it a modern feel, such as the large skylights up top. And these help let natural light into the house. And this cabin is perfect for the forest biome in your Minecraft world, or any heavily wooded area. This build is broken down into 8 steps, and without further ado, let's start the build. Also, here's a quick little side note. This cabin is roughly 17 by 15 blocks wide, and it is 11 blocks tall. And here's a complete list of the materials you'll need to build this cabin. Step 1. First, let's make the base walls to the house. We will need 144 oak planks for this step. Make the back row 11 blocks wide. And make the side a total of 9 blocks wide. Then connect back around. Then we can raise the walls to a total height of 4 blocks tall. Step 2. Next let's make the windows and door openings in the house. We will need 2 oak doors, 4 cobblestone wall sections, 4 oak logs, 4 stone brick stairs, 12 quartz pillar blocks, 4 stone buttons, and 8 black stained glass panes. First from the left side of the front of the house, move over to the second space, then remove 4 blocks, and then we can remove another 4 above that as well. Then add 2 oak log columns on each side. Then add in 2 oak doors in the center. Next, add cobblestone wall sections in front of the oak logs. Then stone brick stairs up top. Next, at the right side of the house, move over to the second space. Remove four blocks and remove two more rows of four above that as well. Then we can use quartz pillar blocks and place them horizontally. And to do this, you'll need a placeholder block. Then once the rows are started, you can remove the placeholders, and continue across. Then add 4 stone buttons to the front of the garage. Next, at the back of the house, move over to the third space and up one. Then make a 2x2 two two opening and fill with glass panes. And repeat on the other side. Move over to the third space and up one. Then make a 2x2 two two window opening. And we can fill this with glass as well. Step 3. Next let's work on the oak log columns. We will need 54 oak logs for this step. Start at the left side of the house, place 3 oak logs, then leave one space empty, then make another 3 tall column, then skip a space, and then make another 3 tall column out of oak logs. And we can alternate this pattern each time around the entire house. Step 4. Next let's add glass panes between the log columns, as well as add a border of stone slabs and two rings of oak fence posts around the top of the house. We will need 54 glass panes, 88 oak fence posts, and 44 stone slabs. First place black stained glass panes in between the oak log columns.
Then once completed, let's add a ring of stone slabs to the top half of the fourth block up. Next, add a ring of oak fence posts on the top of the stone slabs. Then at the side of the top of the oak logs, add another ring of oak fence posts. Step 5. Next let's work on the first roof part. We'll need 263 cobblestone blocks, 24 cobblestone wall sections, and 20 cobblestone stairs for this step. First place a cobblestone block that is diagonally spaced 3 spaces from the corner. Then add 6 cobblestone wall sections on top of the cobblestone block. Then add 2 cobblestone blocks on top of the wall sections. Then add 5 cobblestone stairs around the cobblestone block. And these will be the trim pieces. Then we can repeat for each corner. Place a cobblestone block 3 diagonal spaces from the corner of the house. Add 6 cobblestone wall sections on top, then add 2 cobblestone blocks on top of that. Then we can add 5 stairs for trim pieces. Then we can repeat for the last 2 corners. Step 6. Next let's finish the second part of the roof. We'll need 86 glass blocks, 48 cobblestone slabs, 8 cobblestone wall sections, 8 green banners, and 8 yellow banners. First start from the left pillar. Remove the second diagonal block from the top and place a glass block. Then repeat for each corner. Remove the second block and fill with a glass block. Then once each corner is marked out, remove the blocks in between and fill with glass blocks. This will help light the sides of the building with natural sunlight.
Next, we can place five cobblestone slabs from the inside corner of the glass blocks. Then skip a space, then add five more cobblestone slabs. Then extend the slabs back to the corner of the glass blocks. Then extend back and wrap around. Then we can remove the cobblestone blocks in between the cobblestone slabs. And fill with glass blocks. Then we'll repeat for the other side. Next, let's add two cobblestone wall sections on top of each cobblestone block. Then add green banners and yellow banners. And then we can repeat for each corner. To refresh, add two cobblestone wall sections, two green banners, and two yellow banners. Step 7. Next, let's install the floors and interior walls. We will need 126 oak planks, 27 oak slabs, 7 oak fence posts, 3 oak doors, and 8 ladder sections. First, head inside and replace the grass with oak planks. Then once completed, add 4 oak planks and line this one up with the second column of oak logs. Then extend to the right until it reaches the wall. Then raise the walls to a total height of 4 blocks tall. And this will be flush with the exterior oak walls. Next we can add a door and four ladder sections over here. Then add four ladder sections on this side. Next fill the top with oak planks. Then we can fill in the back three strips with oak slabs and extend to the other side of the house.
Next, let's add oak planks in front of the ladder. Extend up and over. Then add planks on the side. And then we can add a door in here. And another one over here. Next, add an oak fence post for a railing. Step eight, lastly is the interior. Now the house is complete and you can decorate the way you prefer. However, I'll show you a quick walkthrough of the way I decorated my house. Right inside the cabin, we have a little area to hang coats. There's also a table and carpet on the ground. Then we have a kitchen. And in this kitchen, we have a cauldron for a sink, a furnace for an oven, as well as iron blocks for a counter. Then we have a little garage on the right. Then heading up top, we have a bathroom. And then right outside the bathroom is a little loft bedroom. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions about the build or like to leave some feedback, I'd love to hear it. Also, make sure to subscribe because I create build tutorials just like this one every week. I'll catch you in the next one. Later guys! Want more build tutorials? I have many other playlists that might interest you on my channel. Make sure to check them out.